Hello again. In this video, I am going to be doing these crystals on this finger. And we're going to use the Acra Gel to build this up because these are pointy back crystals. We're going to put a blob on here. That might be a bit too much of a blob, in fairness. And then we're going to Just wipe the brush. I'm going to pop this in where we want it. So we want it nice and flat on some bits. You want to leave it pointy or raised if you like on the bits where the pointy back crystals are going to go because obviously we want them to sit into the product and then I'm just bringing this forward then yeah definitely too much to make a platform or a base if you like for the rest of the crystals to sit on so we'll just get rid of that sure that that is all kind of smoothed out we don't want it lumpy and bumpy on the bits on the outside it's where there's not going to be any gems we're not going to cure this we're going to put some top coat over it and then we're going to start putting the gems in using the Neo Acra Gel and then when I put the crystals in I'm probably going to speed this up because this if it goes well it doesn't take too long but sometimes it can be a bit of a mm, and I'm quite new to crystal placement especially this kind of designs are using the pointy backs and stuff so who knows how it's going to go really just have to wait and see okay so I've laid out my design here and the great thing about aqua gel is it just stays there it stays where you want it to be and you can just move stuff around however you so wish to put it in. Now I'm going to apologise in advance, you get quite a lot of headshots. Um, I have decided to voice over this because I have um, sped up a lot of this. I spent about five minutes just fannying around um, with these four crystals here. Um, because at this, it hasn't quite twigged yet. You'll, you'll see, it's going to twig in a minute in this video. The fact that I have picked out two squares, a circle, and a pear shape. Hmm. Now, of course, when I laid it out, that looked like a great idea. <laughs> the reality, however, is that those shapes don't necessarily actually fit together. Um, now, when you're doing a crystal placement, it's not just about putting the crystals down. You know, if it's a flat back crystal, then that's different. But when you're using pointy back crystals and you're making it all sit up proud, you have to get all the heights the same. And you're trying to make a nice smooth um, shape because you don't want any jagged edges or you're going to catch that in your clothes, your hair, everything else. You know, eat... Um, it's not necessarily a good thing. And of course, I'm now realising at this point that this isn't quite working. So I'm trying to spread them out a little bit more, get it to raise up a little bit and hopefully stick a crystal in the middle. And I'm, I've tried trying a big one. That's not really um, 
going to work and, and then I'm going to try a little one to see if that works until finally it kind of twigs that neither of those options are going to work and I've just got to try and make it work with what I've got um so yeah it, it didn't quite go according to plan but you know it, it doesn't always um but I still like the result at the end now, whilst you're watching me do this, I'm going to talk about this crystal mix. Now, this is from Crystal Parade. I will put the um, description in the bottom as to which pack I got. I brought three of them and two are very similar. Now, one of them is called Time and I can't remember what the other one is called. And because I've put it out in my dish, I've completely f forgotten where the pack is and whatever so I will find it I'll go back and have a look in my purchase history as to what it was and put it in the bit below but what I like about this pack is look at all of that that you get in it right that's a huge amount of different shapes sizes pointy backs flat backs colors so when you're starting out and you don't have a lot of crystals or crystal placement these are great these packs because it's got everything you could possibly need and there's more than one design that you can do with this. You know, you've got a good three or four potentially in there, depending on how big of a design you want to go. Obviously, I like to go big. I like it. I like a lot of bling. I do. I like a lot of bling. Um, but, you know, some people don't. They want something that's really subtle. So you can get a lot of designs out of this one pack that I think cost me about, you know, four or five quid. It wasn't a lot. I think it's about a pound for delivery. So, yeah, buy more things rather than, you know, less things on the delivery front. But, you know, it's not expensive at all. Now, I apologise. I do go out of shot a little bit because I'm really trying to stare at where these crystals are and how proud they are and whatnot. But I do come in and out. So, you know, don't worry. Don't worry. You will be able to see it. Um, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I've still got my cough. Now, I have to plan out what I'm going to do with crystal placement. Um, one of the women in my group, um, she's she's the crystal fairy to me because she just, she knows all the different sizes, all the different colours, all the different shapes. She knows what goes with what and she can just do it on the fly. She just looks at it and off she goes. And I I can't do that. You know, I'm very new to crystal placement. I think this is... In terms of the pointy backs, I think this is my fourth one that I've done. Um, yeah, it, it's it's def it's a bit like trying to play Tetris, to be honest. Um, now, what I just did then was there was because of pushing everything in, it kind of splurged out at the bottom and it just kind of looked ugly. So what I wanted to do was just take away some of that excess, smooth it out, and then I've just re-put some top coat on it um, because, again, we want it to seal all the crystals in as soon as we're ready to put it in the lamp. And now I'm just putting the flat backs on and I do realise that one of them actually won't fit on the end <laughs> because I have not got enough room for it. I liked a little bit leave a little bit at the end of my nail um, in case, you know, when I need to file them down or I don't know, the one right on the end is the one that tends to disappear. Now, when I do these in, a, in Acrogel, I have actually smacked my hand off a post and it didn't come off. Now, here you go, guys. Here is the reveal shot for you of my full set. <laughs> 